So, so you know, it, you know, the, the location was going to be in like the middle of Connecticut, and so it, because we had to get up at like 4 a.m. on a Saturday, you know, but the, uh, the seven of us went and stayed at La Quinta Inn. In, uh, don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> you get what you pay for. You know what you don't pay for. But um, and then uh, so we got up at four at four in the morning. Yeah. You still don't know what's going on. Yeah. And I'm making mysterious phone calls. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and I was really confused. Um, and so we're driving to the location. I gave you know I gave everyone the address. Well, we had Dunkin' Donuts. We had Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Very important part. Um, so we drive to. We're driving to the location, yeah, and you're and thinking it, it's going to be some abandoned amusement park or yeah, something. Yeah, or like a beach, although Matt said we were going to the morgue, but I didn't really know. So we're So then I get to this like <laughs> random parking lot next to some college, and I'm like, that's not very photogenic. I'm starting to judge you. Right, so we pull over, and, and then we're just kind of standing and waiting. We're wondering what's going on. I said, oh, we're waiting for Jim. <clears throat> And I'm like, who the heck is Who's that? Who's Jim? <laughs> <laughs> so then this car pulls up, and there's this giant, like, metal box behind it. And I'm, like, freaking out next. I'm like, I'm not getting in there. Whatever that is, I'm not getting inside. And it looked like, I don't know, like a carnival truck, you know, like, but metal. It was scary. Yeah. Like, we, like, what you put horses in. It was kind of like that, <laughs> except metal. And then Jim comes out. And he's wearing a t-shirt that says hot air balloon rides on it, but I'm like, oh, that's a nice t-shirt. You know? <laughs> that's a nice thing for a grown man to wear. <laughs> and then the second truck pulls up with the, with the same kind of box in the back, and that has a big picture of a hot air balloon. On the back. <laughs> then you figured it out. Well, kind of, because then he saw that like Anna and like Vera were getting kind of excited about and I'm like, what's happening? And then, then it kind of, then it occurred to me, and then I was really excited. And, and Matt, Matt, Matt said, yeah, yeah Matt, Matt said, happy birthday. So well, that was really good. So that's what really threw me off, and I'm like, wow, Ben just went crazy overboard for my birthday. So I was really excited, and like I've always wanted to do a hot air balloon ride, like ever since I was a kid. So I was all, we were all jumpy and stuff, and Anna and I went to pee in the woods. <laughs> what? <laughs> Was that because of the Dunkin' Donuts? Yes, exactly. That's what we just. Oh, this is how the story goes. They don't have bathrooms on the hot air balloons, I guess. Or the Dunkin' Donuts. I would hope not. Why? Because the the ride was like two hours, and I was like, no, so it's really good that we did it. You waited an hour, huh? Well, well, you actually, I'll, t I'll tell that part after, but, but yeah, so it took about an hour, and then, um, well, the reason is, um, you guys know what's going to happen next, but I, 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 so I, 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 I planned on proposing on the balloon, and when I, when I coordinated this thing, when I called up, you know, Jim, the pilot, um, he had said, you know, whenever, whenever people do this, I always urge them, wait, until, first off, Make sure you know that she's going to say yes. <laughs> there's no the escape. Otherwise, you're in, a, you're in two hours yeah. up in the air. There's no escape. And, and, <laughs> well, there is. It's just not. And wait not pretty. It's it's pretty, it's pretty and, no worries until and wait until the end of the flight. Because if you do it at the beginning of the flight, then you're not really going to enjoy it. So he said, they say, give you and if they say no, exactly. What's that? If they say no at the beginning of the yeah, flight, exactly. it's so that, and, well, there's no refunds. Well, later he, said, later he was telling us that. Um, he had this couple that he was like riding around, and there was another couple they didn't know in the balloons. So it was like four people. So one of the guy, like guys proposed to his girlfriend, and she was like, it got really quiet. And she's like, well, we'll talk about it at home. Oh. Oh. And, then, wow. like, and another hour 
went by and in the, the balloon. And the yeah, other couple knocking. was like super uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. So, <laughs> so, uh, we'll talk about it later. So he, so he said to me, I'm going to give you a code word when you know, because we never know exactly how long the flights are going to be, depends on the winds and stuff. But, um, but he code said, word. you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on the radio and I'm going to say, okay, we're looking for a home. And then I'll wink at you. And so that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so, 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 so we're in the balloon, and about an hour into the flight, and Jim gets on the radio, and he says, okay, we're going to start looking for a home. And I look over at him, and he winks at me. And he's standing, he's on one side of the basket with, with Anna, Serge, and Matt, and he starts Pokey, Matt, and Serge, because they know, and he knows that they know, so so they get their cameras out. Anna's sitting there, like, kind of confused as to what's going on. And, and Ksenia is, is leaning over the basket, and she's looking out and just kind of enjoying the view. I was yeah. totally ignoring him. And so, so I start... I was, like, taking yeah. pictures, I'm like... <laughs> I was like, look, honey, it's so beautiful! And he's like... <laughs> oh my god, look over there! <laughs> This is the cheesy part, but I uh, know what it is cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Cheesy is good. Um, and so I said, you know, do you know why, why we did this? And uh, I said it's because it wanted us to have a day that we wouldn't forget. And she said that's nice. And she said, really <laughs> <laughs> so I reach into my, so into my, my coat pocket, and it's got like a, it's it's you know it's, it's sort of like. It's got a little zipper, and so it wasn't quite open all the way, so my hand gets kind of stuck. <laughs> you were jumping around. <laughs> so I'm trying to pull this thing out of my pocket. Meanwhile, <laughs> Serge and I are sitting there with our cameras, ready to take the picture. And I'm sitting there, and Serge is shooting video, so there's video of this. But I'm like, my hand's kind of stuck. She's turning the other way, facing the other way, looking out. And eventually, I get it out of my pocket. Um, and then, so then he kind of starts to like sink down, and like out of the corner of my eye, I see that Anna's like crying. <laughs> and, 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 and holding a video camera where she wasn't holding one before. And then that's when it like sinks in. You figured it out by then. Yeah, at that, at that point, I'm like, oh, and Ben's on the floor. <laughs> Stop asking. This is happening. Yeah. Yeah. Just fell out. So he asked, and I said, Yeah, and so <laughs> shortly after that, um, the other balloon, Tim and Vera, oh, they yeah. landed. They landed first. Yeah. They landed. They shot. Oh right! Wait, wait, wait! And then Jim, he radioed Tim and Vera's balloon, oh, yeah. and he said, and because I was crying at that point, and Anna was crying, and he's like, "There's tears in the basket, and there's dead silence." <laughs> 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 They landed, you know, they don't, you can't really schedule like where you're going to land because it's just unpredictable. So they landed in, um, they landed on a farm. And they, what, what happens is each balloon has like a van uh, that sort of chases you so that when you land, because a lot of times you land, you always land on private property. So they want to be able to pick you up as quickly as possible. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The access road to the farm, I guess, was fenced off. And so they end up on this farm, and they're sort of so stuck we, there. We went to go rescue them. So we went to go. So after we landed in some parking lot, we pack up the balloon and we drive over to, to find them. And eventually, the road gets somebody opens the fence, and so we met them there. And uh, it was this beautiful uh, old dairy farm. With so llamas. There were now llamas. Now llamas. Now llamas. Now llamas. Now llamas. Um, just green rolling hills as far as you can see. It was really beautiful. Red barns, and. Um, they have this tradition that I, I think, he, you know, I don't think I was told about this, but they, um, there's a, a hot air balloon tradition that goes back to when they first started launching hot air balloons in France in the 18th century, that, um, you know, the first balloon flights, they would land on, on farmer's fields, and there'd be this big smoking balloon thing, you know, landing, and so the farmers would think, oh, it's the devil. So they just like so they run up with pitchforks. <laughs> so the uh, the first hot air balloon pilots figured out that that they should maybe bring a bottle of champagne with them, 
every time they flew. So it became it's become sort of a tradition. Mm -hmm. So we, um, you know, on the farm we uh, had our champagne toast. Yeah, that's so nice. Oh, they yeah. had a table with champagne and cheese and crackers and yeah. stuff. So yeah, so like we were kind of supposed to toast the farmer, but it kind of like turned into like a toast to us mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was nice. So we did that, um, and then we went to Ben's dad's house, which is you know also like sits on this beautiful like you know property, and we just kind of like had like we barbecued, and we went to get ice cream, and there were um, there were goats there. Yeah, it's like farm country. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we went to the ice cream place that has like a has like goats and stuff, yeah. and you can pet the goats. Yeah. Oh, and then we played laser tag. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> In the same day? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was a long day. It was a pleasant day. Yeah. 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 And then, oh, and then when we were coming home the next day, we got stuck in this, like, the worst traffic possible. Um, and normally, like, with our personalities, we would have been like, no, whatever, we'll stick it out. But then, like, Matt made us get off. And so we ended up, like, I think it was like we saved ourselves, like, an hour and a half, probably, of, like, traffic. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's what you clapped to? <laughs> 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 Traffic sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. to put our story on their blog. Really? Yes, uh, do it. That's awesome. Wait, I never know if you'll win.